It's moving day. It's another early one. We woke up at about 5.30 right now. Uh, the movies are coming at 6 and uh, everything's supposed to get going. So I'm gonna hop in the shower. Shower is done and I think the movers are here. You can hear a truck outside. I'm gonna have to take a couple of things to the hog one. It's very quiet, there is no other noise except for this truck but it just feels so chaotic. I gotta pick up some more paper. Uh, these are the guys, the moving truck. There's a ladder, the ladder moves up, it sits up against the window, and then the furniture and everything is gonna be moved out through the window, onto the ladder, and into the truck, and then over to the new apartment. That's how stuff moves in Korea. The place has turned into a war zone. Very efficient. Uh, three guys came, one woman. The woman's taking care of the kitchen, she's packing everything up in the kitchen, and the three guys are taking care of everything else. We literally packed our essentials, like the most important stuff, laptops and whatever else, valuables that we have. We took it out, including the dog, um, and the guys will pack up everything, even, even our clothes. So the closets will be either taped up or they will take everything out and just toss it into the, these big boxes here. There's a box right there. They will toss it into, into these boxes here and then uh, just take everything. So literally, like clothes and stuff, we didn't touch it because they do everything. They take apart these closets and they put them back together once they get to the other place. It costs a bit. I'm not sure how much it is back home. This, this will set us back somewhere between 700 to a thousand dollars uh granted we do live just across the street we're moving just across the street here so it's not very far so um but yeah the efficiency is pretty good it would take us a week to do all that by ourselves these guys do it in a few hours Chaplin hat for today. I forgot to pack it and uh, there's no way that these guys are going to toss it into a box somewhere and squash it because it's just going to be ruined. So I guess that's me today. Wow, technology can be a pain. I had to recalibrate the Osmo because it was leaning sideways and I was beginning to wonder if it wasn't broken. But apparently it's just me not really knowing my way around technology. So we started the day quite early. Uh, it was still dark outside. Um, and the sun is up and the light is out. And these guys are hard at work. Presently our bedroom is being packed as I mentioned before. All the clothes, everything gets just shoved into a box. The guy just does everything. This little thing, this little pulley. Goes up and down, the men just pack everything up, throw it onto this little elevator, down to the bottom it goes, and into the truck. And then once it's all loaded on the truck, off they're gonna disappear to the new place. My wife's already there, um, and she's just trying to clean up a little bit. Uh, and I'm here to, Actually, I gotta go downstairs because Coco is in the car and if I don't take him out for a little walk, he's gonna take a crap on my seat. So this is the convenience that we're gonna miss. That's my daughter's school right there. So as you can see, it's literally a walk across the street. We'll be living a little bit further away. There's still lots to go, lots of stuff to be moved.
morning feels very chill. It's actually a lot cooler now than it was earlier when I woke up. There also seems to be a lot more moisture out there. Humidity, dews coming out. It's a quarter after seven. There's a lot more moisture out in the air. Maybe it's the sun. I got Coco out for a walk, so you can go number two outside instead of the car. There's literally nobody in the house, none of the owners, meaning myself and my wife. So we entrust everything into the hands of the very capable moving men. There's an elevator waiting to go down, so I'm gonna stick around and show you what it looks like, because it's fun. Whee! It'd be fun to sit on one of those and just get down. I wonder if these guys ever do that. They probably take this thing home and just ride up and down just for fun. I had to get my jacket out because I was getting a little chilly. Because unlike these guys, I'm not doing anything. I'm just standing around making videos. It's staggering the amount of stuff you accumulate over a short period of three years. Half the things we probably never use. We threw out a bunch of stuff and still there are boxes and boxes of things that I think we could use just disposing of. The timing for this move couldn't be any better. It's Thursday today and tomorrow is a holiday. It's Friday, but it is a holiday. So uh, we get to move in today, spend the day working, and then tomorrow we get to relax well, so to speak, like we still have to clean up the apartment and stuff, but it's a three-day weekend, so we have plenty of time to do all that. As I understand it, moving is one of the biggest stressors on the scale of things to stress the heck out of you. Uh, one of the first one or the second one being uh, the death of a spouse, divorce, um, and I can see moving as number three or number four on the list. I know what you're going, stressed out to no end, so... Um, the three day long weekend is going to be really good for us. Molly and Liam are at their aunt's. Um, they're having a fun day, I hope. But at least they're not going through this nonsense. Although I'm not really doing much. Coco's sitting in a warm car. And it's gotten really chilly. It was super warm this morning. And it, uh, I don't know, the cloud covers disappeared and the wonderful. Uh, greenhouse effect that we've been having over the past 24 hours is also has also evaporated I think it's right now 735 and these guys arrived here at about six and then we're rolling by quarter after six I think so it's been an hour and 30 minutes and they've pretty much packed up most of our stuff uh, and I think they're ready to load it up and then move out streets are pretty quiet. This is a pretty quiet street anyway. Not like that one behind us over there. That's a busy street. That's the one we're going to be living behind. So we're moving on the other side of that busy street. Which kind of sucks for Molly and Liam because they'll be farther away from the school I guess. But uh, yeah, it's just another adjustment that we got to get used to. I think we've been living in this comfort for way too long and now uh, making this little leap is uh, making me feel a little uncomfortable. I'll miss the comfort of this area, but that's okay. I'm quite excited to move to the new place because it's a lot larger. There's going to be a lot more space and Mali and Liam can horse around to, to their heart's content without having to worry about uh, uh, about stressing people out or, you know, underneath us about anybody calling us and complaining that there's too much noise up on top. <clears throat> and additionally, they'll have uh, a lot more space to play.
enough time in a place, things that once were uncomfortable, inappropriate, seem a lot less so. When we first moved here, I remember seeing the, this elevator for the first time and thinking to myself that it's way too small. It no longer is as small as I thought it was. It just goes to show, people can get used to anything. Develop a comfort and expectancy of the things that surround them. And it's a s false sense of security that these things create, which makes me personally uncomfortable. So, I'm kind of glad that we're moving, because I think being st stuck here for the past three years has made us complacent. This move is a good thing. I've been feeling quite useless just standing around there, so I decided to go out for a walk with Coco. Instead, it's nine o'clock now. The guys are still not finished packing. Or actually, they finished packing, they're still not finished moving it. So, we're just loading it up on the truck right now, they're behind us. And then, uh, hopefully, we'll be able to get out. So, but that's taken them about three hours now, which is quite long. I have a class at 11, I think. I may be one of the worst pet owners there is. For some time now, Coke has been scratching his ears like crazy. Um, and a couple of days ago, I noticed that they're extremely filthy. Since I have the time right now, I'll take him down to the vet and I get the feeling I'm gonna get in trouble. See if, it, if the vet's open at all first. Coco, we're gonna go to the vet to have a look at your ears. Maybe get them cleaned. Hmm? Yeah, I'll get in trouble from the vet and my wife for leaving the place. The vet's just around the corner, so Hopefully it's open at 9 a.m. Well, unfortunately the veterinarian is still closed, so have to come back later, I guess. But this is where we're gonna live. So literally, like across the street and to the left type of deal. That's where we're moving. Come on, cool. So it's not too far. It is a busy street that Molly and Liam have to cross in order to get to school, so we'll have to uh, do a lot of runs back and forth and Molly will not be able to just willy-nilly walk over home after school. She'll have to hang out at the playground or possibly get to the hog one and hang out with us until she's able to go home. So I just spent an hour teaching and uh, in the meantime we've moved to, to the, our final destination and the guys are unloading. But this is our house, right there on top, third floor. Yeah. So our house is up there, and the post office is just right here. It's pretty cool, I guess. I could toss my letters out the window and straight into the mailbox. So it's a bit chaotic, everything's in the move, the guys are still moving in and uh, there's a still a truckload full of stuff, so this is gonna take a while. This is the proposed new YouTube studio. It's very exciting to have this new room slash studio, but uh, now I've got to figure out all the content that I can make here and actually start producing it. And the dog on the roof. And that's the end of the move, for the most part. It's 1.30, I have to get back to work. I gotta get dressed, I gotta put something in my belly quickly, have some coffee, um, and get back to work. But I guess this will be Coco's paradise when we're not at home. No longer being cooped up in, inside the house and having to rely on a leash. Here he can prance, run, run around, and whiz as much as he wants, because once it rains, it's gonna wash it all off. I just have to figure out his housing situation. Coco! I like it.
Tomorrow it's bet with Oh, not tomorrow, because tomorrow is a holiday. So it's going to be Saturday, I guess, Coco. But that's going to conclude this little move. So that's how people move in Korea. It's done very quickly, very efficiently. The men are still packing, unpacking everything. It's chaos. I think we've got way too many things. That's the problem for, for us. We got like 16 tables and 23 dishwashers. The things that you own end up owning you. And it's very much true here. The number of, of things that we, we had to move is just staggering. And we're gonna have to make some serious changes in order to adjust a little bit. So I came home from work and this is what I found. My wife dressed up like a red riding hood, but is that the red riding hood? The apartment is a complete mess. It's gonna take us a week at least to clean it up. But we only have the weekend. Tomorrow, Mali and Liam are coming back. Um, but this is what it looks like. We've inherited a, a running a treadmill, which is really cool. Uh, Jigyo and I are both motivated to start using it and, and lose some unnecessary pounds. And uh, yeah, things are good. The upstairs playroom is fantastic. It's massive. Mali and Liam are gonna love it. Anyway, that's the end of this video. It took a whole day. I just got home a little while ago. I'm hungry. There is fried chicken standing on the table. I'm gonna hit it and eat it. And make sure that you hit the little subscribe button, uh, like the video, leave a comment in the section below, and I'll see you in the next one.